Hey, what's going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get better FPS, fix all of your FPS drops, lags, stutters, ping issues, network issues with Overwatch Season 2. In this video, I'll be covering best settings for you guys for competitive games. So make sure to watch it till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below for better results. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the essential window settings. And for that, you have to simply search for settings. Now, once you are here, what you're looking for is the game mode. Simply search for game and go to turn on game mode. Make sure that game mode is enabled because this will help you to reduce the running applications in the background, allowing you to get better FPS while you're playing the game. Right beneath that, you will find graphic settings. And over here, you have to go to default settings, click on change default graphic settings, and make sure to enable hardware accelerator GP scheduling. Then go back to graphics, and then you will find a list over here. Basically, you have to find Overwatch in this list. For most of you guys, it will be already added. So you can just simply go to options and click on high performance. Simply do the same with the Overwatch launcher. Click on save. If the games does not show up in your list, you can simply go to browse and go to the installation directory of the game. Once you're done with this setting, you have to close the settings. And now step number two is the best NVIDIA control panel settings. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, these settings are for you. But if you have an AMD or Intel HD graphics card, then go watch the videos from the link in the description below for the best settings for any game possible. Basically, what you have to do is right click on any empty area, click on show more options and then click on NVIDIA control panel. Now, once you are over here, you have to go to adjust image settings with preview and then click on use the advanced 3D image settings. Then go to manage 3D settings and then copy the same settings as I am showing you over here. You can pause the video and copy the exact same settings because that will give you the best performance out there. Also, if you are playing on laptop, go to configure surround Fizz X and then from processor, select your GPU over here. This will allow your computer to prioritize your main GPU or your dedicated GPU over your integrated GPU. And that will be very, very beneficial while you're playing the game. I also recommend you guys to go to adjust video color settings and for your monitor i highly recommend you guys to go to advanced and for the dynamic range select full and that will give you the best colors possible now close the nvidia control panel and let's move to step number three that is system configuration for that you have to simply search for system configuration then this window will pop up right in front of you you have to go to the boot section click on advanced options tick on the number of processors and select the maximum number of processors that are available to you this will improve your windows performance drastically then simply click on OK, click on Apply and click on OK. Then click on Exit without Restart since we are going to restart it later. Step number four is adjust the appearance and performance of windows. This will basically de-animate your windows. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Select adjust for best performance and that will completely de-animate your windows. If you are running a super low-end computer, I highly recommend you guys to click this option. But if you are still lacking that look of windows or if it does not look better for you, simply check two options. One of which is show thumbnails instead of icons and second one is smooth edges of screen fonts. Then simply click on apply and click on OK. Step number five is creating a restore point and for that you have to simply search for create a restore point. Then you have to go to your local disk C or any driver say system. Click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Click on OK, click on yes, click on create and name it Overwatch. Simply click on create button. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really, really essential. It will save your windows. If anything goes wrong, you can always restore everything back to normal. Once it is done, you can simply click on close and close the system properties. Step number six is Overwatch 2 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. You have to simply download and extract the FPS pack and you will find in four folders. First one will have Overwatch priority and by default your Overwatch is at normal priority. But if you are facing micro stutters and lags, you can simply go with high or medium priority. Make sure that you are only selecting one of this and that will basically make your game smoother. 
go back to the second folder which has the windows optimization and over here i have left a lot of optimization registries over here you can simply right click and open with notepad to see what are these going to change in your computer if you're satisfied you can run them but for maximum performance i highly recommend you guys to run all of them as that will set your computer to maximum performance and it will disable unwanted services and unwanted applications running in the background allowing you to get better quality gaming to apply them you can simply right click and open with registry editor or you can simply double click to run them now go back and open the third folder which has the game optimizations and you have to run all three of these registries just the same way once again if anything goes wrong with all three of them you already have your restore point and you can restore everything back to normal then go and open the programs folder and you will find in three applications over here first one is clean temporary files drop bat and that will basically clean all of the temporary files on your computer you can simply run it as administrator and a tiny pop-up will open that will ask you to click on any key to continue you can simply click any key and it will start deleting all of the unwanted temporary files once they are deleted it will ask you to press any key to continue and that will simply close it simple as that then you have msi mode utility 3.0 you have to run this as well but make sure to run it as administrator once it opens you are looking for your gpu over here for me my gpu is right here so from undefined select high click on apply and click on save lastly is the unpark cpu.exe and you have to run this as well now basically in your processor whenever your cores are not in use or they're not being utilized your computer puts them to sleep basically unparking your cores will unlock the maximum potential of your processor it will utilize all of your cores so for that you have to simply slide this core parking index to 100 percent or you can simply click on unpark all and click on apply that will boost your system's performance significantly. Once you're done with that, you can simply close out of the FPS pack. And now let's move to fixing network issues. For fixing all of your network issues, I highly recommend you guys to use Exit Lag. It's a really simple application. You can download it from the link in the description below. Simply go to this website and click on Get Exit Lag. Once it opens, you can see a simple interface just like this. Make sure that Exit Lag slider is turned to on. That means it is functional. Now over here you will find a list of over 250 games to choose from. You can simply search for Overwatch 2 from this list. Now simply select your game region, for me it's Asia and click on user routes within my country first. So if there are any servers in your country, it will first try to connect you to that. Then you can simply click on apply routes and then Overwatch 2 will be added into your list. Now, the best part of this application is the tools section over here. Simply go to FPS boost section and enable the first, third, fourth and second last option. This will basically boost your computer and unlock the maximum potential of your PC. In short, it will help you to boost your FPS as well. Once you're done with that, simply close exit lag. So once again, if exit lag has helped you in the trial version, you can always go for a subscription. You can get one month, six month, and even 12 month subscription. And currently they are having a 50% off on their 12 month subscription. And getting this from the link in the description below will get you an extra 10% off. So make sure to go check it out. And let's move to the last step that is the best in-game settings. And for that, you have to open up your Overwatch. Okay, once you are in your game, you have to simply press your escape key and now go to options. The first tab is the tab that you're looking for. For the display mode, I highly recommend you guys to keep it full screen, but you can lower your resolution to get better FPS. You can check out any lower resolution just like 1280 by 720 or anything like that to get you the best FPS possible. For me, I'll go with 1920 by 1080 with 240 refresh rate as per my monitor. Make sure that your field of view is always the maximum aspect ratio. You can set it to 16 is to 9 or 10 according to your monitor. Now, for the render scale, keep it custom and make sure to reduce your in-game resolution to somewhere between 80. And then for your frame rate, set it to custom and slide it all the way up to maximum. 
Then for VSync, always keep it off, triple buffering off. For the Nvidia Reflex, I highly recommend you guys to check between enable and enable plus boost, whatever works best for you. These three are just user preference. Now go to the graphics quality section and make sure to set your graphics quality to low. Then go to the details section and make sure to display performance stats on, show frame rate on, show VRAM usage on and show network latency on. And then simply press Y to apply all of these settings. And with that guys, you will get the best FPS possible in overwatch 2 so guys i hope this video might have helped you out if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below also don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below i'll reply to each one of you individually and we are really close to 100k subscribers and i definitely count on you guys please hit that red subscribe button down below it seriously helps me out a lot we'll see you guys in the next amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out